This is Austrian pine, or Austrian black pine, as some people call it, Pinus nigra. And it ultimately gets about 60 feet tall, around 40 feet wide here in Northwest Oregon, and I'm sure many other places in the US. And here in this office park that I take care of, they've crammed them all over the place. As you can see, it was planted just about four feet from the wall. Across the way here is crammed into another small space. Three over there, and three in here. Now, as you can see, they're obviously too tight. Um, I've already started pruning them. About a year ago, I started thinning them out uh, in my spare time. During the growing season, it's really hard to get to. I'm just so busy. But in the winter, I can uh, work on thinning them out, maybe on a rainy day or when I've got my big trailer full of uh, debris that I can carry away because it, there's a lot of debris. There, it's, it's quite a bit of work to thin these out. They are extremely thick trees when they're young. So this tree, I uh, last couple of weeks, I've really thinned it out. I've probably gotten about, gosh, 15 maybe garbage cans. 20 gallon garbage cans of debris out of this small tree. It's just so thick. Uh, it had blackberries in it, it had red twig dogwood growing all around. I'm also taking those out, that's why they look so chopped. Um, these things grow <laughs> around here from March through November. December they still had leaves on them this year, even after the free freeze we had. Pretty big freeze around December 8th. Um, anyway, the first step is to top it. I picked a height about four feet tall. I know you should never top a tree normally, but for pom-poms, they've gotta to be topped. Um, and then I start thinning it out and just selecting a few decent branches. Now this doesn't look great. It will take some time because the individual palms here have, need to thicken out over time. Um, and gradually I'll remove pom-poms too. If you see mature, uh, well done, Austrian pine pom-poms and other types of pines, they don't really have that many palms and they're pretty open, which is kind of cool. So as you, as you can see, this tree is kind of a mess. It, this is the last one I've, I've started working on here. And I just wanted to, if I don't have time to get to it this winter to finish, I wanted to get it topped and, and the basic form done so that I can just nip at it here and there. So these three right here, uh, I did last winter and they're coming along just fine. I've, I've actually been taking off a lot of different branches to make them even more open. There's another added benefit. One of the main reasons I uh, took out a bunch of red twig dogwood here and also um, took out quite a few branches so you can see through it. Security is a big, big problem here. There's a lot of homeless people. Um, this is Tigard, Oregon. Not the best location in the world uh, for security. There's a lot of crime, a lot of homeless people now, and uh, people camp back there. I found notes from drug dealers back here, piles of uh, cigarettes, gosh, <laughs> about a foot deep. Someone just hangs out back there. Uh, all kinds of interesting stuff. So I wouldn't be surprised if I found a body here <laughs> eventually. <laughs> Guess it's not a laughing matter, but anyway. So I decided to thin these out because I know if I worked here, I would definitely want to be able to see around me. And uh, there's little patios back there and, and little doors. So, gosh, um, you know, you really got to keep it keep it open and, and watch what's going on in the morning and, and evening. Some, you know, it gets dark here about 4.30. So that's an added useful benefit for these pom-poms. I could have just taken them out, but I didn't want to do that. I thought, hey, I'll be creative. So this next year, as the candles emerge, I will just shear them into a round ball and they should really look better in about a year from now. So I love the trunks on these. They get wider and thicker and more gnarled with age. So it, it, this is a fun project. Um, you can also do this with muco pine, scotch pine, all kinds of pine, probably every kind of pine. And, uh, but in the beginning it is a lot of work, but there's a big payoff. 